Hey guys, Mike Eiser here, and I thought I'd take some time out to share with you something that I found, a cool landing page generation tool. Um, you know, a lot of people that are in the Big Idea Mastermind, uh, they're now starting to create their own funnels, uh, separate themselves from the crowd, you know, it's like what Vic Strzaus teaches us all, like, uh, you want to do the polar opposite of what everyone else is doing, so, and that even applies to those of us within the Big Idea Mastermind, you know. Let me just close this over here. Uh, you may want to differentiate yourself. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the current funnel. You could use that. It works fine. But uh, if you perhaps want a shorter funnel, you know, and you want to set up a different landing page and see how that works out for you, uh, this is a, a pretty cool landing page that you might want to look into. It's, it's called Epic Squeeze. It's the Epic Squeeze plugin for WordPress. And... You can see it looks pretty nice, like uh, it's got this nice background over here that I selected and I put in the text from the BIM Storm landing page over here. And actually, if I were to refresh this, you're going to see something interesting that happens once someone first loads this landing page. So I'm going to click reload to reload this. And there, you see that wobble? That happens to catch people's attention when they first see this landing page. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is, um, got it over here from this war from the Warrior Forum, by the way. Um, this is what it is, the Epic Squeeze plugin. You know, they're showing all the results here, the great opt-in rates that you can get over here. And, you know, testimonials, whatnot. And uh, I can take some time out to show you guys what it looks on the inside right now. I can show you what... Where is my page? Okay, here. So, this is my blog, um, and I've installed the plugin on my blog. And you can see here, I inserted an image here. This is the image that you saw in the main block on the landing page. I just stuck an image there. That was it. And after sticking the image in there, you could also write your own text. You can make your own headers and uh, you know write your own text in here if you want to, right? And uh, once I wrote that, I went down to the Epic Squeeze settings over here. And for the autoresponder tab, this is the first thing you want to do. You want to select Get Response as your autoresponder. And then and insert the JavaScript code over here, right? So that will link your Get Response um, account to this, right? And then you put in your target. This is the target web, web page. This is where they go to once they opt in, right? This is where I want them to go to. Now, after setting that up, uh, there's a background tab. It's actually a pretty easy to use uh, plugin for your landing pages. Um, now, the way this works is to create the background image that you want for yourself. All you have to do is enter in a keyword here and it's gonna go to Google Images and search for a bunch of images related to your keyword. So, what I did, was I put in mansion myself and I clicked search and searching for mansion now here are a bunch of mansions a bunch of images of mansions that it pulled from Google Images and you can select any one of these to use as your background image it's that simple just do a search and uh, this is the one that I had selected so you know if you want to select this one over here instead just click that and it says attempting to download image, background saved and configured successfully. Now all you have to do is go back up here, go to update. It's going to take a while. And there, it's updated. So now I just have to go to view page. I'm going to right click this and open it in a new tab. Now let's see how this looks. And there you go. There's the new background image. Now, the, the mansion is covered up over here because um, this is actually not full screen for me, right? I, I made this recording window a bit smaller, so I've had to scrunch the browser up. And when you scrunch the browser up, you know, it kind of distorts things a bit. Like, if I were to full screen it like that, now I see the whole thing, but you guys don't see it because it's... Uh, you know, it's not in the recording window here. But 
Anyways, I'm just trying to say that things are a little bit scrunched up because I'm recording it in a certain window size here. But it looks looks pretty awesome. So let me see if I can show you some other things, other features about this thing. There's also style settings. And over here you can select the different buttons. If you want to use a different button. So I was using this yes, let me in. You could use get instant access if you want this orange button. Let me in in red. You know, whatever you want to use. Just select it. Okay. And then here's the button effect. I had wobble selected. So you could go to ta-da, flash, shake, bounce, pulse, swing, and wiggle. So there are all these different little effects that you can have for your button. So let's see... Uh, what else can we select here? Uh, shake, flash, maybe flash, let's try flash. And here you can change the box opacity, right? So if you want your box to be more see-through, you can do that, you can go all the way down to 10. So let's try 50. And yeah, just gonna leave it at that. And some other settings over here too, I'll just go over them while I'm here additional video settings so audio, audio track on video you can add audio to your video I guess um, I believe that this has something to do with putting an, a video in the background so instead of having a static image you can actually have a video auto playing in the background when someone goes to your landing page which is a pretty cool feature and there's also geo settings, so if you want certain countries to not see your site, or uh, you know you want them to see a different URL, you can do that there. And miscellaneous settings, exit pop-ups, you can do exit pop-ups. And by the way, there's some tracking here. You can see Epic Squeeze stats. This actually tracks your unique clicks, opt-ins, and opt-in percentage all over here. Um, the no amount of premium people, so people from, you know, the U.S., U.K., Australia, Canada, those are considered the premium countries, and then the rest of the world is, you know, the rest of the countries in the world. It gives you all that statistical data. I don't personally use it, but you know, it's a cool little feature to have. So let's go and update the settings with what all we changed and see how it looks. Okay, I'm going to go to view page, open in a new tab, and boom. Okay, there we selected the flash, so that like flashed a bit there. And you can see the opacity of this has changed, so you can see the background through this a little bit more. So yeah guys, um, just sharing with you a cool little landing page generation tool that you can make use of for Big Idea Mastermind or if you're not in Big Idea Mastermind, you know you could use this as well. And yeah, hope this got hope this is of help to you guys. If you're ha looking to make your own landing page to separate yourself uh, from everyone else. And yeah, guys, talk to you guys later.